So, this game is called Escape Velocity Nova. It is kind of crazy that I even played it, nor even know about it. Uh, this game died a long time ago. Even the website to buy it is fucking gone. Uh, you have to... You can still do the code and shit to redeem it, but it's very... You gotta do some shit to get the game to even work. Originally, this was a Mac game, and then it got poured into Windows. Um, but basically, it's all about combat and exploration, but... There are six main storylines you can do. And you can only do one at a time, right? So there's, it has some replayability. Um, the text should be readable. I'm going to read the text anyways, but... I pretty much made it the best I possibly can because this game uses the smallest font in the world and you cannot change the size. There's not even mods for it either. Um, they have one resolution patcher that kind of changes it, but it doesn't really help too much. Um... So yeah, that is the dealio. I've played this numerous times over the years. I The last time I played it was probably like six years ago or some shit. It's been a while. Um, I don't know what storyline I'm going to do first. You could be Federation, you could be Polaris, or Oran, uh, Pirates, and something else. I don't, wait, why is the audio doing that? Oh god. Is the audio gonna be fucked? How about we do no intro music? How about that? Brightness, I put it on burn out your eyes. This is burn out your. Can't even say eyes. Okay. Maybe the. Hopefully the music's better. Um. Alright, new pilot. Full name Dash Riprock. Gonna be Pixel Junkie. Nickname Dumb Fuck. Okay. Gonna be male. Strict play. If you check this when you're dead, you're dead. No reincarnation allowed. Fuck that. Uh, please, Kristen Crisis. Yep. Your brand new Sigma Shipyards Alpha Class Shuttle. I'm gonna name my shuttle, man. Hmm. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it the Stash. That's right. Okay, so this game is super fucking old school. Um, a lot of it has to do. You have to read a lot of it on your own. It doesn't. Uh, there's no voice acting or anything like that. But the storylines are actually pretty cool. You can choose to do the storylines, or you can just fuck up bounty hunters and pirates and steal their shit. Uh, you can also just uh, trade cargo between planets to get uh, credits that way. In the very beginning, you need credits. You need to do credits. Um, and you gotta, like, escort people or shipment or food and bring it to another planet, vice versa. You, like, space jump and hyperdrive between systems. In the very beginning, you can't kill anyone. I mean, your, your ship is fucking dog shit, so you gotta work your way up. Um... I should probably look up the storylines of... Like, you have to do certain shit to start certain storylines. And I should probably decide what storyline I want to do in the beginning. Um, the pirate one is pretty fucking short. Uh, unfortunately. I mean, there's mods to make it better. Oh, also, we're doing... We have a mod installed that's like a complete revamp of the game. Uh, what's it called, actually? Do I have the, the command set up? I forgot. Brand new void. That's what it is. And they have neo plants to make the plants bigger. Uh, I should put that in my title, actually. So we're doing a brand new void, which uh, completely rebalances the game and makes it overall just better. Has a whole bunch of plugins. Again, most people don't even know about this game, so I doubt we get viewers, but I don't give a fuck. This is for me, mostly. I'll play what I want. Um, okay, so they have Velos, they got Polaris, Oran, Rebellion, Federation, or Pirates. That is the six major storylines. And then they have a bunch of minor storylines and side missions. Um, Polaris is Aliens, I think. 
The alien ship is probably the most rewarding, but... Mm, I don't know, actually. We could just do Federation. I think Federation is Earth, basically. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, let's do let's do Federation America, man. America. So, random fe random Federation Spob. What is Spob? I don't know, but you got to do a Federation resupply uh 6 6 times. Oh, the outfitters of Spob. Okay. Oh no, Spob. It might be like because each each one has their own like space, like it's their territory. Uh, okay. Let's try that. Let's try to be Federation, I guess. Is this an old game or a retro style game? This is old as shit. This is made in like '96, I think. Super old. Super old. Okay, hopefully it works. Hopefully we don't have tech issues. I did the best I could. The audio is kind of alarming that it's already skipping. Hopefully it doesn't happen uh, while we play it. The intro music I don't really care about. Okay. Mankind was colonized, has colonized the stars. The early explorers launched themselves and their followers into the void with little or no idea of what the future would hold. Many were never heard from again until a genius named Omada Kane came to the fore. Uh, Kane designed and orchestrated the construction of the Hypergate system. The Hypergates were a means of linking systems light years apart with wormhole technology. Uh, a great boom of colonizing, colonization began, and the dark reaches of space were suddenly not so dark nor so distant. The ruling body of the humanity, of humanity, the Colonial Council. Oh, God. Every time a game mentions the Council, I think of Mass Effect. Uh, the game did not wait for me to... Okay. But the Colonial Council grew corrupt, and the sick of the corruption spread uh, through every layer of society. Pirate attacks became more prevalent, criminals flourished, and politicians became military governors. The, the emasculated Council could do nothing. Terrorists destroyed the Soul Hypergate and crippled the network. Overnight, entire systems were cut off from civilization and society was thrown into a state of anarchy. If you could foresee the events that followed, warlords arose, empires sprung up, and collapsed just as quickly, and all the while the people of the galaxy suffered in a new dark age. Planets sank into feudal states, and much technology was lost seemingly forever. So the Hypergates got destroyed, and people just took the fuck over, man. Uh, yet from this chaos rose order. A newly reformed council uh, advanced faster than light technology, and slowly regained contact with the lost worlds of humanity. Over time, the core systems of human space formed a new ruling body, the Federation. That's what we're going to do. Uh, life is now a cheap commodity in a dangerous universe. To the south lies the Orion Empire, a savage race. The mysterious Polaris hold the east, while the north and west are unexplored. Uh, you have just purchased your first ship, a shuttle that you hope you will, will lead to better things. You're ready to start your maiden voyage. The universe with all its diverse beauty and terrors awaits you, Captain. Pretty sick intro. Alright, so this is the planet. So normally the planets are like fucking small, man. This mod makes them bigger. Oh, we're already getting shot. I landed. Holy fuck. So this is what I mean about the text. I cannot make the text bigger. I mean, I mean that's the best it's going to get. If this pretty much just uh, describes the planet. Eh, I mean, no one. It doesn't really matter what this says, but it's like Snowmel is the second largest gathering of humanity in the Federation behind Earth itself, including the Kane Band. The planet itself is extremely cold. Most of the population is concentrated in a thousand-mile-wide strip along the equator, where temperatures stay within thirty-five degrees of zero. Jesus. Outside of this, the temperatures decrease rapidly to the poles, where the average temperatures is in the region of negative 200 degrees Celsius. <laughs> Holy shit. Snowmelt seems to lack any major natural resources. However, 
Due to the ease of building habitable quarters by hollowing out the ice, the population exceeds 10 billion. Jeez. Alright, so this is where we started. Um, we need to go to Earth, which is Seoul, I guess, on the map. So you can buy different stuff for your, uh, for your ship. Gravimetric sensor is the weapon fires explosive shells. Eh, we're not gonna we're not gonna upgrade this too much. You can buy a map, so you can buy a map for a lot of the. Uh, uh, like let's see how much it does. So can I bring up the map right now? I can. So this is my map. Um. I don't remember where Seoul is, but here's the map now, so let's buy the map and see what happens. See, so it opened up more. Oh, there's Seoul. Good. That's where I need to go. So that's great. Uh, but you can do missions at each thing. Uh, every planet has a bar as well. You can find missions to do and shit like that. Mission computer? What is this? Oh, okay. I'm not going to do this mission. This mission gives you free money. I I was using it to test stuff. I don't want that. Um, food, industrial, metal, and equipment. So this is... You have uh, 10 tons of cargo space. Because uh, in the beginning, we're going to have to be transferring cargo from one planet to the other to get money. I mean, that's just it. And they all have prices. Like, you can buy something for low at one planet and then sell it for high at, at another planet. If you like knew what was high and low on each planet. Um, yeah. But let's try to go to Seoul. Hopefully you don't die when I come out here. It says now you should be able to hyperspace your other system. Hit M on the map. And then hit J to jump. So we want to go here. We want to go here. Later you can get like an equipment that lets you jump to multiple systems. But we don't have that shit yet. So let's hyper jump. How loud was that? That was pretty low. Let's turn turn the game up a little bit. We'll do ten. Uh, now we want to jump to here as well. And here's Earth. Here we are. Refuel ship. Oh yeah, so jumping takes fuel, obviously. I think it costs a little bit of money, but not much. Here's where you can buy new ships. We want to get a Terrapin, I think. Uh, if we want to get some credits. Because I think we're going to have to get credits before we do any crazy missions. A United Earth naval officer approaches you. From his uniform, he appears to be with the shipping and supply department. Ah, you must be Pickle Pixel Junkie. UE Shipping has a cargo delivery, which we were hoping you could do for us. Are you interested? Uh, sure. I need money. Good. All you have to do is take 10 tons of industrial goods to Helen in the INER system. This is purely a routine cargo run. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. So now we have all of our 10 spaces taken up. Uh, probably nothing else to really do here. I forget how you make saves in this game. I don't know if it auto saves. Maybe? <laughs> oh good, so it, it marked which one we need to do. Nice. Uh, okay, let's go make a jump. You can also a caps lock to do times two speed. Uh, we need to jump again, don't we? Yeah. So you can only jump like a certain distance from the planet. Wait, what? Oh, it's not connected. Okay, maybe there? 
Because you have to, like, discover it. Oh, we could have bought a map, probably, at that planet. Oh, well. So I only have enough fuel for one more jump. Hopefully this is a planet. A UE shipping officer comes over to talk to you while dock workers are unloading the industrial goods from your ship. UE shipping has cargo runs like this to be done all the time all over UE space. Keep an eye on the mission computers on UE worlds and there will be some jobs for you from time to time. Alright. Cool. Uh, it was free fuel ship. So we got paid a little bit. Not bad. And Emalga, which appears to be in some position of authority, demands that you tell him of your people and their relationship with the Moinians. You agree to do so. And once you have done so, the Imalga explains his own people's situation. Perhaps our people will be able to work together against those you called Vonians. The Imalga Council shall discuss what you have said. For the moment, you are welcome on Imalgia. Okay. Suddenly, a hysterical Imalgia rushes in. Everyone, do your ships. A Volian fleet approaches. A Vonian fleet approaches. Oh, shit. So, like, fight's about to break out. Uh, I need to get the fuck out of here. So this is the delivery thing they're talking about. Needs to uh, go to the horizon system. Okay, let's try it. We might die immediately coming out here. I'll be honest. Uh, I'm gonna hit map. How far are we going? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Oh, we're going way over here. Okay. Okay. Well, no fight broke out. I thought there would be. I don't know why this has a... an arrow here. Actually. Is there more planets here? Okay, they're definitely fighting. If anything shoots me, we're dead. I'm pretty sure. You have earned our thanks, human. You may, you may have saved Imalga this day. So, the game thinks that I helped them fight. Uh, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Whoa, we just got so much money. Oh my god, they just paid me like 100k. What the fuck? Oh, okay. Uh-oh, they're gonna attack me. I need to get the fuck out of here. I think it's a pirate ship. Oh, don't kill me. Okay, I'm gonna try to jump. Okay. Let's go here and refuel and shit. Okay. Well, we got some money. Uh, I should probably buy something else, right? I think I'll buy one of these to have more space to carry more shit. That's what I've usually done in this game, because, I mean, all this stuff's just way too expensive. I'm honestly surprised I got that 100k or whatever it was from that, that mission. Uh, it's a custom modified shield grid and heavier weapons. I don't, I just want cargo, man. Uh, 
has upgraded engines, but is still painfully slow. <laughs> I mean, what's a heavy shuttle? Increased durability, low fuel capacity. Yeah. Let's just buy a normal Terrapin. <clears throat> Whoops. Okay. Okay, I went to the bar for another mission. As you step out of your hatch, you are approached by a woman wearing a blue-black uniform. You're a pixel junkie, captain of the stash? <laughs> she asks quietly, and you nod curiously. <laughs> curious. I am Samantha Varana, and I'm a representative of the carrier company's United Shipping. We specialize in moving around small valuables uh, like jewelry, business papers, and contracts, etc., we have recently been on the lookout for the new pilots who would be willing to work for us. Are you interested? To an extent? I mean, I don't know if this is... Uh, Federation. I don't think it is. Oh, United Shipping is a side mission. Eh, fuck it. Let's do it. We need some money, man. It looks like it's just for money and stuff. Okay, sure. Excellent, she exclaims, smiling widely. Well, as it happens, we need someone to head over to Serenity in the Lotus system to pick up two tons for a client on Fermia and the Ahula system. This particular mission has no real deadline, which is slightly unusual, as most of our clients want their merchandise delivered in a set time. Anyway, uh, another United Shipping representative will meet you at the other end. I'm sure I'll see you around. When she gets up, shakes she. Blah. With that, she gets up, shakes your hand, leaves. I'm retarded, can't read. Yes. Okay. So now we have a terrapin. Yay! It is slow as fuck, but it carries 118 compared to 10. Wait. Someone's trying to kill me. Oh god, I'm so slow. I saw the text of the bomb left. It was like, now you die. Okay, I guess we're good. Uh, let's go here. Looks like we can hyper jump a little bit more now. Maybe five instead. Oh, four instead of three. Upon landing, you head over to Duckmaster's office to inquire if the package you are supposed to picking up is available. He directs you to the delivery's office, and they quickly find your package and hand it over. Cool. Refuel ship. Uh, none of these seem timed, so I'm going to do this. We'll be a courier for a little bit. Alright, let's go. I wonder if they sell a map here. <clears throat> so I'm guessing the game auto saves or something. To so see these five ships, you can have escorts that can follow you. You get to hire them though. Wow, they don't sell anything. That sucks. Okay. What about this thing? They sell medium blaster, really, that's it. Okay. Fuck it, let's go. Oh, don't attack me. All 
All right, we're here. I'm glad they're not fighting me. Oh my god. You're met by a man wearing the same blue-black uniform that Samantha had been wearing. My name is Sean Clark. <laughs> Shane Clark, I guess. Oh, welcome to United Shipping. I take it you have the package? You now to begin to loan your cargo with the aid of nearby dock workers. Well done, he compliments. Uh, he compliments you when you are finished. I'll take care of this one for you, but in the future, all deliveries are to be taken to the delivery's office, and the staff there will notify... The intended recipient, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have given you access to accept United Shipping missions to the mission BBS. Uh, obviously, some missions will be more valuable than others, but I'm sure you'll notice that as time goes on. We have now logged you in as the official UN shipping carrier. Okay. I wish you luck, Captain Pic Pixel Junkie. <laughs> I'm, sure, <laughs> I'm sure we will see each other again in the future. All right. And he gave me some money. Cool. So now we got more. Oh, see, so this one's timed. It's July 26th. They won it by August 15th, but they pay 10,000 credits. Uh, What is it called? It's on the Misfire and the Trishka system. Let's see if we can do that. Ah, uh, someone's attacking me. Fuck. Okay, I don't know where Trishka is. Uh-oh. That's not good. I guess we're gonna have to guess or we just failed the mission. I'm getting attacked. Oh, God. Okay, that was scary. I guess I'll take a bet on this one. I think it's the wrong one. What date is it? August 4th. We're going to miss that shipment. They're going to be pissed. Alright. Yep, that was not good. Okay, so I guess we'll try to go down there. Uh-oh. Oh, we're dead. I'm gonna try to get to the planet. Leave me alone! Wait, there's a... Oh, never mind. Uh... Wait. How do I see my missions? Uh-oh. Okay, how do you see the missions? It's I. I'll see you on the Altair system. Well, we obviously failed it because it's going to be... <laughs> Hmm, okay. Well, fuck. Let's just abort it then. We'll get rid of this stuff. So, let's go here. Oh, they didn't sell a map, did they? They did not. Yo, Lost Wolf, what up, man? What up, Raiders? We are playing an old as fuck game. <laughs> I hope you're streaming well, Lost Wolf. 
Uh, okay. So we bought the map. How much is on the map now? I'm getting attacked immediately. And you run away. Don't kill me! Dun, dun, dun. No, no, no. But folks, just in to show them Escape Velocity Nova. Nice. We're trying to do the Federation storyline. Uh, because America. But we start off as this little cargo ship, so, like, we can't really do much. <laughs> We're trying to transport cargo to get some money. Ooh. But yeah, I kind of got the game working. I mean, text is still pretty hard to read, but... I'm reading out most of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, refill ship. Where are we going? We're going over here. You gotta work your, you gotta work your, your way up in this game for sure. See what we got. Oh, it's a pirate. Oh god. Oh, we're so dead. Help me. Oh, they're helping me. Ooh, the pirate died. Nice. <laughs> so pirates will attack you in this game if you're carrying cargo. They will That's how they make their living. This is the wrong planet. You can actually become a pirate too. It's one of the six storylines. Uh, we have a map. Let's buy the map. Gonna kind of save my money before I try to buy weapons and stuff, I think. Uh, so now we go down here. Yeah, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, you don't even have to do a storyline either. But I think the storylines are pretty cool from what I've played. I think I've played all of them except for Velos and uh, Orion or whatever they're called. No, don't, don't do it. Oh my god. Is there a planet here? Oh, thank god. We have no fuel left to hyper jump. Okay. Oh, do they sell a map, actually? They sell nothing. Just leave me alone. We're all good. But yeah, what, what were you playing, Lost Wolf? Oh, shit. This isn't even the way to come over here. Whoops, I guess we'll go down here. The Messenger. Hmm. I don't know if I played the Messenger. What's that game about? I've heard of it. Uh let's refill here. The next jump is gonna be a pirate uh subspace. I'm good. Want to get the hell out of there. It's a straightforward <laughs> platform with awful dumb bosses. It sounds like Guacamole. <laughs> Okay, cool. We chose correctly. Horizon. Okay. Bought the map. Got more. It is good to kind of complete the map so you know where you're going. Okay, let's try to go to Seoul and start the Federation 
storyline. I don't know if you need a good ship yet or not. I think they give you one, right? Once you, like, go through with their storyline. Just getting some of those jumps right, yeah. That looked pretty rough, man. But even the final boss looked kind of crazy. Okay, we're here. So I think there's a 50% chance of it happening. I don't know if I have to jump in and out though. Oh, these are licenses to buy better ships. Ah, well, if I had money, I would, for sure. Is there one? Yeah, battery packs, right? They let me hyper jump more. Yeah. There we go. I can hyper jump even more now. Okay, let me make sure I'm doing this correctly. This is neither effect or affected by the major minus. However, some may be... Okay, so me doing United Shipping first has nothing to do with Federation. Apparently this has a 50% chance to pop this uh the federation storyline and it says in the outfitter it's definitely here i just don't know if i need to uh, jump back and forth it seems like maybe be kind of unlikely i'm that unlucky to have it not happen 10 times uh and that's where your platform is bad because that's 9 percent of your game then no thanks <laughs> lost wolf says fuck your platformer Yeah, how long did it take you to beat the boss? I saw you play it for quite a while. Guacua Melee. It, it says Soul, right? Oh, random, random Federation. Which is Soul. Soul will be part of Federation. We're just getting really unlucky. Wait, isn't there another planet here, actually? We can go back and forth till we get it. So an hour and a half, Jesus. Okay, well, this has to happen at some point. We could just keep doing United Shipping, but I feel like there's not much else to, to do. We just do cargo, right? A uh, uh, quest is supposed to pop up when I go to Outfitter. Wait, what? I can't. Oh, it's down here. I was trying to land the big ass planet. <laughs> Oh, this doesn't even have one. Okay. Well, let's just, I guess, go over here and explore a little bit while we try to get this mission. Immediately uninstall the game. <laughs> I've been doing that to a lot of games recently. <laughs> even, even Dark Souls 3. I think, I think it's because I tried playing 2 and 3 back to back. Okay, this doesn't even have an outfitter. What about this one? Doesn't want to give it to me. Oh shit. Oh, we're dead. Come on, man. 
Fucking pirates, dude. I mean, I can't do anything there. There's nothing I can do. Alright. It doesn't want to give me the mission. Damn. We might have to do something else. Should I go in here? Oh, wait. It tells me whether they have outfit in. Okay. And eh, what's up here? Well, that's a Wait. After I finished Argonus, I was sort of toying with the idea of doing Dark Souls 1. Oh, God. I would love to see that. That's a commitment I want not, to not have a streaming commitment for about a week or so. <laughs> that's how I felt after my Resident Evil marathon I did. Uh, last uh, last year. There's just so many games, man. After that, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna play what I want for a while. <laughs> Not just Resident Evil. We play one through seven. Don't kill me. Yeah. <clears throat> time constraint. I, I feel that. Alright, I'm about to... We might do not Federation, then. This is crazy. Uh, let's try to do cargo, I guess. Get some more money. I feel like this is normally pretty easy to get. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know what? We do have a, a mod install that revamps the, the whole game. Maybe they changed it. Let me see. There's a readme here. It's called Brand New Void. Let's see it. To get into the Fed side, check bars and Federation space. Okay, so it is definitely different. Well then. We have not been checking bars. Because in the official game, you have to do Outfitter. So, What's about February? I might go back to stream for two hours and it will feel less stressful. <laughs> you gotta do the rest of the Pixel remasters, right? In one sitting, back to back. To back to back to back to back. Still nothing in the bar here. So it pays 10k, but we have to go to one place and then go somewhere else. By the 29th? Every time we hyper jump, it's like two or three days. I'll accept it. We'll see if I can even do it. Oh, it's that one. That's not too far. Might be able to do it, actually. Oh, did they release six yet? Did they release day on that shit? Okay, which one we're doing? Space Dock 4? Someone's trying to kill me. Oh, God. Okay. Deliver to Ta 2 in the Ta City system. Oh. Oh, we got this on lockdown. That's an easy one. Cool. 
Free money, man. 23rd of February? Ooh, that's real soon. Yeah, one thumb requested me to play FF6. Uh, next month we're doing a viewer request because I'm kind of rewarding the people that have actually stuck around and to my streams and shit. So I'll have to ask him if he wants to pick remaster or not. I would probably prefer the SNES, but I would do either. I think we need this planet, right? 10k credits, easy. Oh, here we go, we finally got it. You're sitting in the bar, listening to the abysmal music blaring from a nearby juke, juke bot, and sipping your latest brew when you notice a strangely dressed man walking towards you. Uh, hey dude, you must be Pixel Junkie. <laughs> you mind if I call you Dumbfuck? So I put Dumbfuck as my, uh, my short name, my nickname. <laughs> Alright, without without asking, he sits down at the table and looks about. You're wondering what this is all about when he suddenly turns back to you saying, Man, I have no idea how you people ever do business in places like this. I mean, look at the types here. They don't even have any dress sense, man. Kind of makes you feel sorry for them. You look at the bizarre collection of bright colors, odd cuts, and stupid fabric that make up what this individual calls clothing and raise your eyebrow. Jesus, man. Yeah, right, man. Sorry, the man shrugs. I should get down to the real deal. My name is Sly Styles, rock and roll entrepreneur and manager of the hottest band in Federation Space Debris Field. We have a major tour on, but the guy who was, who was handling our security has gone and gotten himself splattered by pirates. Now we only have two shows left on tour, uh, but the hardest part is that they're at the extremes of Federation-controlled space. We could lose huge amounts of flash if we have to pull out. He notices the be the be the bibu's face, look on your face, and pauses. Flash, you ask him? Yeah, you know, scrunner, flash, moolah, credits. You nod, you understand, he's saying, so you want me to handle your security for the rest of the tour? Bro, we got, we got a terrible ship. I can't protect Jack shit. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, rock on, man. Our old security dude said you were on the sharp end of the electro trancer, and I see he was right. The electro trancer? Okay. Uh, that's exactly what we want you to do. It's only two more gigs and then easy days. We'll pay you 50000 per gig. For that, we need to get to the shows on time, have somewhere to stow our gear, the band, myself, and the other stuff. Our spaces are already their settings of the major gear, so all you need to worry about are about the instruments and stuff. Uh, sure, man. You nod, stick out your hand. Booyah, Styles yells, grabbing your hand and pumping out and down at the rate of knots. At a rate of knots. I should take you to the meet the rest of the guys and start getting our stuff together. You leave the bar and head across to a plush-looking hotel. Styles breezes through a throng of teenage girls <laughs> standing around on the pavement, slipping between them with practiced ease. You'll get used to this sort of thing quick enough. Happens everywhere you go. <clears throat> Once aside, you head to the elevator, which goes all the way to the top floor. Upon walking out, you see the most filthy collection of individuals sitting around the worst-kept hotel room in history. All around you are empty bottles, cans, food trays, and overflowing ashtrays. The smell makes you gag. <clears throat> Styles doesn't seem to notice and calls you over to meet the band. Some dirty guys stand up and can't believe that they are even a band, let alone successful. Styles introduces you, and you try to avoid throwing up at the smell. <laughs> Jesus. You make your excuses, saying that you better go and get the shit prepped. <laughs> it's in the full noise... Oh, asking Styles where the next show is. It's in the full noise megadrome of Cornwall in the South Manchester system. We'll meet you down at the ship tomorrow. Uh, you nod your agreement before hanging out the door. You hear the band playing. Uh, begin playing as you walk to the lift and hear the same abysmal crud that was playing in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, you don't feel too good knowing that you have to listen to this for a while. So we're escorting a, a band, I guess. 50,000 is a lot, though. That's crazy. I don't know if that was a Federation uh, mission, though. Alright. Escort Rock Group. Escort the band Debris Field to Cornwall and the South Manchester system. Uh, I assume that that's over here. 
All right, let's go. Yo, 50k is a lot of money, man. Definitely SNES. I wonder how good it's gonna look, the remaster. <sighs> if they're gonna change, like, anything at all. Oh, we gotta see, uh... Saban suplex a train or what? Okay, we're here. I'm getting shot. Oh, no. Well, we died. That's a fucking manticore, dude. Holy shit. Alright, well, me and the band died. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna land at the planet before that, probably. To save. Manticores are stupidly strong, man. Now, like, that laser alone would, will disable your ship pretty quick. I think I had one of those when I was playing, uh, the pirate. Uh, storyline. Let's see if this is even possible. Hopefully it is. I think if I run away, I might have a chance. Because usually, like, someone comes out. Unless that was just a fluke. You could just be killed by RNG. I mean, honestly. If there's pirates, they're gonna die. At least in the beginning. Leave me alone. Please. Alright, there's no manticore here, so that was just bad luck. I guess. Alright. <clears throat> you stand around the Debris Field concert, watching hordes of teenage girls scream at them. The, the concert is to promote the band's new album, Groove Till You Vomit. Nice. And you don't think that you would have you would have to groove too long before you bring up your lunch. The concert uh, goes without a hitch, but afterwards, as you wait for the band to come back to your ship, you see a number of unsavory types hanging around. You get the impression that they are walking, or waiting for the band to board the ship, and then tell their friends a lot of which ship was carrying the band. Oh God! You feel like telling them that if they want to kill them, you won't interfere, just so long as the thugs can guarantee that. Uh, there won't be a, a memorial album, but a job is a job. You watch the slugs disappear, but you get the feeling that you will have some rumbles on your way to the next gig. We might be soft locked here. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be honest. Let's see. Is there anything to make me go faster? After wearing cheese powers are pretty great, but losing little power is better than getting caught in the middle of a fleet battle. Okay, I think Z is afterburner. <clears throat> Come on, boys. I want to fucking buy that. So we're going here? Holy shit. Don't kill me. Afterburner. Go, 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 go. Run. They're probably going to follow me. I think they are. I'm gonna go to Seoul. The Federation should fuck him up, right? Woo! Okay, we're safe for now. I am dead, probably. At the burner, go, go. We're so slow. My shields are gone. Okay, I need to land here. 
Uh-oh. I missed it. We're dead. No. All right, so this just definitely possible. It should have stayed when I landed here. Yeah. Or we just die immediately. Okay. Jesus Christ. They were camping me like bitches, man. Okay. We have a chance. I need to land on this planet. Alright, uh, let's land here. I have no afterburner. I need to land. Woo! Oh, I can't refill here. Fuck, it's the other planet. Oh, we're dead. Oh, uh, suck my dick, bitch. Fuck out of here with that. I think we're softlocked, dude. I need to land on this other planet here. And I can't afterburn her anymore. Uh, wrong one. Yeah, we might be soft locks. Wait, wait. Yeah, suck it. We get, you got missiles, fuck off. Insufficient fuel? Dude, I refilled, what? Hello? Go, 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 go. Okay, afterburner, land on the shit. God damn, okay. Despite the possibility of death, you are still amazed that the entire battle went off to a dulcet tones of debris field chanting, Rock on and fire it up. <laughs> we didn't fight anybody. In between their noise, you managed to fend off the attackers and make it to Syracuse. Uh, truth be told, you wouldn't care if the band had been killed, but the money's good and now you just have to watch the show and get paid. 50k, by the way. You were standing in front of the stage looking... Uh, for would-be unsavory types, and seeing them everywhere, since none of the fans seem to be seem to have lost in a decade. <laughs> Jesus, when he notice a commotion on stage, the lead singer appears to be on fire, as smoke and steam pours out of his joints and his mouth. Suddenly, it occurs to you that he's a robot, and he isn't singing the garbage coming from the speakers at all. The crowd notices too, and you see a number of techs and spacies rush on stage to haul the malfunctioning unit away. Next minute, Sly Styles appears to the hoots and jeers of his disgruntled audience. He tries to calm things down, but the situation is well out of hand. You quickly vault onto the stage, grab Styles, and hustle him off amid a barrage of empty cups and cans. A riot ensues. Holy shit, this took a turn. After federal troops have calmed everything down, you make your way back to your ship. You have your money, but it seems that Styles is on his way to prison for false advertising and fraud. The feds let you go, considering that you only joined this motley crew recently, and they kindly let you keep your pay. You conclude that if this is show business, you are better off avoiding it. Jesus, man. <laughs> well, we got 50k. Good. That's what I really wanted. Alright. Hopefully this is the uh, Federation mission. Let's see. You were sitting, in, <laughs> you're sitting, enjoying a few minutes of peace and quiet when you see a gaggle of what you presume to be scientists heading your way. You can tell this by the nervous looks and constant checking over the shoulder routine. Ah, are you pixel junkie of the stash? <laughs> One of them asks as you get as they get closer. You nod and indicate that they should all sit down. Pleased to meet you. The designated spokesman begins. My name is Jerry O'Donnell, and my colleagues and I are, are keen to employ you. Okay. 
You wait wondering if any of these people have ever been outside the lab in their recent memory. Uh, we are studying the possibility of further systems beyond the known universe of the Galactic South and are planning a probe launch in the space down there. However, we are unavailable, unable to pilot a vessel down to our launch point ourselves. Is it possible for a modest reimbursement that you could take us there? Uh, I don't know, man. So we just... <laughs> We just uh, escorted a band, right? You know, nothing bad's gonna happen, nothing at all. And we almost had died, and then they all went to prison. Do I really want to escort more people? Uh, all right. You sit back, uh, enjoying the thought of making them sweat a little. <laughs> Two things: where's the launch point, and how much to get you there? Or get, yeah. Well, a very nervous Jerry begins looking over his shoulder. We need to launch from the contact system and. And second, we're happy to pay you 50k for the trouble of getting us there. What do you say? Ah, another 50k mission, huh? Why are they paying so much, dude? Why are they paying so much? You've heard all the stories of Kantik and about how no one ever comes back alive from trying to study the place. On the other hand, 50k is 50k. 50k is a lot of money, dude. Oh, man. I also don't know which storyline this is. If any. Escort band was a side mission. Uh, here, let me look at all the uh, storylines here. What the first mission is. Okay, so this is also a side mission launch probe. Okay, cool. Eh, fuck it. Let's do it. Why not? I guess I'd be, pre tell you, I'd be prepared to take you there, but I have to stress that it will be a tough trip, you tell them. Yes, we have looked over the maps. We know how long the trip will be and what it will entail. We are prepared to leave wherever you are, whenever you are. Uh, all we have to do is load the probe and our launching ex equipment. Of course, we will also need you to return us back to Earth once the probe is launched. You nod and tell them to meet you at the spaceport in the morning. They smile at you, thank you for your time, and head off. All right, man. So we cannot fight anything. I'm telling you right now. We're going to have to run like a pussy. That's just how it has to be. Uh, can we have two afterburners? Oh, we only have a certain amount of tons like on the ship itself to equip stuff. We can't even equip one. I guess let's do battery pack again. Just max out on that. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, we're going way out here. <laughs> okay, let me do this mission real quick, this side one, so the thing's off the map. Surely we're not going to die, right? Surely it's going to go okay. Launching a probe in the middle of nowhere. Alright, we're here. Oh my god, really? Don't attack me, whatever's whatever's targeting me. Okay. Alright, let's go launch a probe in the middle of nowhere. I probably should land here. Because we might be going through space that uh, they'll attack me on sight. This is the uh, the pirate place too. I 
I need to be careful not to jump too much either. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Ooh, that was quite the battle there. So it's red, so I don't think they'll let me land at all. Uh oh. Danny Heimier. What up, Delaware? The contact mission should be fun and a terrapin. Yeah, we're probably gonna die. <laughs> but if we don't die, we get 50k, huh? Huh? It's been so long since I played this game, I don't really know what all happens here. Oh man. Should probably land at each planet just to save and refill. That's the ship I want, one of those. Uh we're gonna land immediately? Okay. Okay, I thought I was gonna die there, not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, we could be going the wrong way, too. I believe, man. This is the one. We're gonna make it all the way there, launch a pro, make it all the way back. No problems. Well, that's a big jump there. And it's a dead end. Fuck. Alright, let's, uh... If this is not a planet, I'm gonna have to go back. It is, but it's no refill, I don't think. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta go back. I forget what it's called to, like, jump to multiple systems at once. I think you buy it. Okay. I guess we'll go there, there, and there. Yeah. It doesn't even lead over there. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Are they gonna attack me? Don't attack me. No. Oh, we're fucked. Uh, these people hate me. Uh-oh. Wait, so maybe I, I might need the uh, the sun, the solar panel. Let's see if they hate me. Hey, guys. I come in peace. Document request denied. Can't you, like, bribe them or something? He says, he says you wish. All right. Well, we're fucked. <laughs> Are we one away? Let's see. Mm, probably two, so... I don't think I could do this unless I get solar panels. Because that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jumps. Jeez. All 
All right, we got to load. Cause I can't jump anywhere. Uh. Can I sell one of these? I can. What else do I have? I have three battery packs and nothing else. I don't. I don't think I bought anything else. Okay, so this gives you energy over time. I think it's fucking slow, though. It might be worth having two. Yeah. Let's buy two. Probably dead. Yep, there it is. Oh, I thought I died. Oh, I'm just disabled. Okay, fuck that. There's board. There's board my ship. Okay, we have two, right? It's saved. Yeah. Save me, Federation, please. The things you do for money, man. One sword panel is better than none. True and true Della Wu. Uh. With two solar panels, this is kind of quick, as long as no one's attacking me. Wasn't this a dead end? Yeah, let's go up here. Please. I'm a lonely terrapin. I have nothing to value. No space probes, nothing. Alright, let's just drift <laughs> drift in the endless space for a bit. Nothing should kill me, right? Way out here. Let's get full afterburn or whatever that's called, energy. <laughs> so you play this often, Delawoo? This is like nostalgia for me. Uh, I've done the Pirates. I've done... Uh, I think... Rebellion? I think that's it. I've been wanting to do Federation, but we're, we're doing a brand new Void, and they changed how you get the Federation uh, storyline, so... It says from a random Federation bar, but we went through a bunch. I didn't see anything. Uh, I hear death. That is some alien shit going on. But yeah, have you played a brand new Void or heard of it? Apparently it rebalances the game and, you know, adds a bunch of shit and Balances a bunch of it. Okay, we got full energy. Uh, God help us. <laughs> no! No! Okay. After should I do afterburner? Yeah, afterburner. Oh wait, no afterburner. I'm good. Well, there's also a mod called Neo Planets that makes the planets like a good size compared to like the ship. Cause you know in the in the OG game they're like small as fuck. Okay. You check for other ships as soon as you enter the system, finding nothing active. The only thing your sweep revealed was a ancient hulk of an Orient cruiser uh, drifting in the distance. And because your sensors could not get good reading on it, you diligently kept well clear of it. We're ready to activate the probe as soon as you unload it and set it up, Pixel Junkie, Jerry says, as soon as you land. 
You waste no time opening the uh, hatches and getting stuck into the hard work of unloading the heavy pro. As you look on, the scientists run a pre-boost check and throw the switch. An old style ion... Sorry, it's hard to read this text. It's so fucking small. An old style ion drive lights up and the probe starts uh, starts heads up into the unknown. It'll take a long time to return any useful data, but perhaps in a couple hundred years, we'll find the first of a new series of jumps to take us to uncharted space. Your admirer's patience begin to set a course to take them to Seoul back to the Federation. All right. They set a probe, and a hundred years will get something back. I can't say it's worth it. Fine, though. So hopefully we save here. We have some energy to, to get out of here if we need to. We'll probably drift until we have full energy again, and then just get the fuck out. What, we got five jumps, probably? Mm, still kind of sketchy. But yeah, what's your favorite ship, Delawoo? Or I guess your favorite uh, faction. I was kind of bummed out the pirate storyline was pretty short. Like, very short compared to the other ones. They could have did a lot with that. Look at me just drifting. What do I have any guns? Oh yeah, look at that. Death and destruction everywhere. Nope, ain't nobody got shit on me. It's a terrible weapon. Okay. Combat in this game is so hard too. But we're on times two. I would slow it down if we're actually fighting. Try to get some more energy here. Pixel Junkie, I challenge you. Hail me if you dare. No, I'm... No. <laughs> I'm in a Terrapin. Why would I challenge you in anything? Yeah, they... Th you get the best reward for Polaris, for sure. I almost did Polaris, but I was like, eh, let's try not to be OP for once. <laughs> Well, this is super fucking cool. Well, this mod might actually rebalance uh, their ships and stuff. Could happen. <sighs> I remember the ion cannon being fucking crazy. Alright, do we have enough? Now nah, let's get full. We'll play it safe. But yeah, for an old school game, this is pretty tight. I mean, replayability, you can do the different storylines and stuff. You don't even have to do a storyline either. I think it is a bounty hunter storyline you can do too. Don't do it. I mean, obviously the game's more entertaining when you get to late game, but... You gotta start somewhere, man. I'm not giving a one million credit ship. Okay, refuel, we're good. I guess I'll keep the solar panels, why not? Alright, we're going back to Seoul now. Oh, we're dead. Yep. Kinda saw that coming. Oh, I have buddies. Got a Federation ship. It was a uh, flagship too, I think. You saved me. Let me land on the planet, please. All 
All right, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five. We should be able to make that. But yeah, there was another game I was going to try out. I guess they were inspired by this game. It's called Endless Sky. I don't know if it will be the same or not, but I was thinking of messing around with it. After I'm done, like, messing around with this. All right, we're here. Give me my 50k, motherfucker. Thank you for taking us on our journey, Pixel Junkie. In the time he has been on your ship, you have grown quite fond of the man in his quiet manner. He hands you a credit chip and tells you that future generations of spacefarers will probably take routes to new systems simply because of the research you have helped these service. Nice. Nope, no mission. God. Just when we part of the Federation, man. Should probably buy these licenses. Like the cheap ones, anyways. Protective tech. Oh, a radar jammer. And this guy's not bad. Definitely in the same vein and easy to mod, too. Yeah, the, the biggest thing for me is you can't make the text bigger in this game. I mean, I'm running this at, like, 1024 by 768. I'd like change the resolution of my monitor to even read anything. So that's like the biggest because the game's so old and no one like modded it to make it bigger. Uh, there was a patcher to make it a little bit better, but it's not really that much. Hmm. Good old days when fonts were, yeah, six pixels tall. Everyone was running the game at 800 by 600. <laughs> the good old days. All right, I really want to do Federation, dude. I'm pretty sure they give you a ship at one point. We got to do a bunch of, like, resupply missions. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> See what this is. You were sitting quietly enjoying a cold drink when the man beside you turns and starts up a conversation. The space jock lifestyle is a fairly lonely one, with months between seeing old friends and you are more than happy to chat away for a while with him. It turns out that he is an Orion living in Federation space. When he told you, you looked at him somewhat skeptically. But once he explained that he was watched by the government very carefully and had to log all his travels and movements, you can see that this might be possible. Cheringo uh, has been living in Fed space since his house cast him out. Uh, your limited knowledge of the Orion lifestyles gives you enough of an idea not to question him further. These things are always a matter of honor and best left alone. During the course of the night, it becomes apparent that Chiringo is, is something of an entrepreneur and has organized for a number of Federation citizens to go to Hourglass and hunt the dreaded Kunjo. He has a number of ex, ex yep, Orion warriors to act as guides and enough weapons to destroy a, a small Federation battle group. Jesus. He has a run, uh, he has run a number of successful hunts, but has run into a snag. His regular pilot was killed when a Kunjo ripped him to pieces. So now he has a part he has a party ready to leave, but no one to get them there. Uh oh. It's, it's another cargo mission, huh? We have the space? That's all you know, that's all I'm saying. Suddenly a light comes through his eyes, and you could all but see a light bulb appear next to him. Say, what are you doing, Amar? Do you feel like ferrying us to hourglass and dropping us off back at Earth? Won't be too dangerous. Oh, of course, right? Of course. The Kunjos aren't mating at the moment. You look at him in a mixture of disbelief. You have never seen a Kunjo, but you really don't want to. 
Shingo sees your expression, smiles, and leans closer. There is big money in this. There it is. If you do it for me, I'll be in your debt, and I'll pay you 75k. Bro. 70... You, you won't have to go on the surface for very long, and you won't even have to leave your ship. Even in mating season, Kanjo can't tear through metal. What do you say? I don't know, man. Are we doing it? <laughs> I have zero defenses on this piece of shit uh, ship we have called the Stash. Uh, no, maybe I don't, but just saying it's not too dangerous. You really mean it's extremely dangerous. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Fine. Let's do it. Uh... Where are we going, dude? Okay, we're not going that far. One, four, five jumps? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll do this all day. Easy game, easy life. Easy money. I think next time we play this, I'm going to have, like, some spacey background music playing. This game doesn't really have music. Uh, something shoot me already. We almost got disabled there, just saying. What ship, or what, uh, planet? I don't know which planet it is. I'm gonna go to this giant one on my screen. That was not the right one. All right, what about this one? Karenjo's like, what the fuck, man? Okay, that's not right either. Okay, of course this is the last one. Paper shield, right? <laughs> uh, all right. Turingo has just spent an hour guiding you to a well-used landing site. All around there is a dense forest, and the undergrowth is just starting to cover a huge number of deep craters. You set down, and the sensors are going wild. As soon as you do, Turingo and his team leap out of the hats, brandishing their weapons with gusto. That's a cool fucking sentence. Uh, behind them come the clients, three looking like they should be wearing brown underpants. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fourth eyeing the undergrowth intently. You cycle the hats closed and watch. The Kanjo suddenly breaks from the undergrowth, flying through the air to attack one of the Turingo's men. At least it would have if a rocket hadn't plowed into his chest before detonating the beast into a rapidly expanding pink vapor cloud. Damn. The public servants leap to the ground, pointing their weapons in every direction at once. Turingo lays about with a continuous laser, and in the space for a few minutes, the clearing you landed in is three times the size. His men set up the mines and sentry lasers, and the camp takes shape. What? That's fucking crazy. <clears throat> you stayed on Hourglass for four days. The public servants never fired their weapons, but still had some very manly hollow shots taken <laughs> with killed Kunjos. The fourth client made some kills of his own, but they all looked on in disbelief when Chirango and the guides explained that the Orient Empire warriors hunt Kunjo with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. All too soon, you have packed up uh, in a heading home. Daft Punk OST 2 Tron. <laughs> Tron 2. <laughs> we gotta get... Uh, what's that one movie that has, like, the space music everyone uh, uses? Uh, Interstellar? <laughs> okay. Let's go. It's time for me to hope and pray we don't die. Please don't kill me. Someone died. It wasn't me, though. Well, Tringo smiles. Here's your pay. He hands you a clap, and you both watch the men unload the equipment. The clients are meeting their families and friends, showing them the staged hollows and waving their arms around, 
uh, miming the awesome shots that killed the Dread Beast. <clears throat> Only the fourth client has any claim on the events he's describing, and you and Shringo laugh quietly to yourselves. Only a few short hours later, all the equipment is unloaded, and Shringo bids you goodbye. Uh, you don't think you'll ever go hunting Kunjo again, but at least you can say you've done it. Bam, 75k. Dude, that was way easier than the other mission. I went to fucking Africa and, like, got 50k for it. Died over and over. Alright, no missions yet. I feel like the Federation just don't want me, man. Maybe I should take the hint. Let's see. Let's go somewhere else. But yeah, I remember the combat in this game uh, being super hard. It's just because a lot of weapons don't lock on. They just shoot straight in front of you. And it's just so hard to turn. You saw those ships. They move fucking fast as hell, man. They're like, they'll like go circles around here. I need to get rid of this two mil mission. <laughs> I had a mission that gives you two million credits just so I could like test things out. I'm gonna, I'll probably uninstall that after this. These 10 tons of urgency payment for delivery by May 18th. They're paying 75k for this. Let's do it. I mean, I can just abort it if it uh is a bad one. Oh, it's right there. Okay, let's go. No. No. Come on. No. <laughs> Bastards, man. It's like they just knew that I had the weapons. And now we're fine. See how RNG this game is, man. At least it auto-saves when you land on a planet. Like, imagine playing hardcore mode. They have, like, strict play where you, you can't... You don't res. You have one life and that's it. Just imagine. I feel like there's some situations you just can't get out of. Uh, what are we... To pyrogenesis. Well, that's it's not that one. Is it this one? It is. <clears throat> You're directed to Dock and Bay 5 by traffic control where a group of dock workers are waiting to unload their weapons parts. You watch them begin to offload the packages, carrying them in massive stacks in the back room. One of the workers tosses a fully charged blaster parasol to another uh, and you are beginning to wonder about the safety protocols on this station when a man in a dark suit enters into the docking bay as he sees the workers his face turns an ashen gray what the hell are you doing he yells <coughs> that's military ordinance if you drop that you'd be vaporized ordinance says one of the workers boss you didn't say anything about bugs uh, what do you even need those for? The man in the suit turns to you wordlessly. Would you mind meeting me in my office? It's the third floor on the right through the doorway. Oh, we're going to his office? Uh-oh. Are we in trouble, man? Ooh. You're beginning, to wonder, you're beginning to wonder whether you have been waiting in the right office when the man in the suit comes in clearly exhausted. Sorry about that, he says, sitting down at the desk with a nameplate reading Project Director Lamar Owens. Project Director, huh? You managed to get the weapons here on time. It's refreshing to see that kind of confidence around here. <laughs> if you're interested in more work, drop by the spaceport bar here some time. And just like that, dude. 75k. Wow. After a minute or two of sitting around in the bar, you see Project Director Owens waves you over to a table in the bar. After you take a seat next to him, he leans in and speaks in a low voice. You would not believe how glad I am to see you. See, we're in a bit of a tricky situation here. Oh, God. 
I've been expecting a bulk shipment of weapons parts for a few days. It's, un it's not uncommon for a shipment of this size to be a day or two late, but we've been starting to worry that it's not simple lateness. Lately, we've been having more and more of our freighters hit by pirate raids, and I'm worried this one might have been hit too. Are you willing to help find this freighter? Dude, I can't. I can't because I, I can't fight. I guess I could I could accept the quest right and just do it later. Hold on, let me make sure this is a si uh, side quest. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. It's not that. Not that. I think it's just a side mission. I don't know which one it is, though. I don't know what quest this is. This might be one added by the mod, maybe? I don't know. I can't find it. Anyways, uh, let's just do it. Fine. <clears throat> Grady says, pulling, uh, pulling something up on his wrist computer. The most I can tell you is that the freighter is located in the, within the northern parts of Federation space, probably in a system with a significant pirate problem. If you find the ship and it's surrounded by pirates, don't bother trying to kill them or board the ship. Just get out of there and report what you found to me. Oh, we don't even have to board the ship. Okay. Well, that seems uh too good to be true. He didn't say how much he's paying me, though. Wait. What? Why is it still saying to go here? Huh? Hold on. Document request denied. Bitch, you know you know who the fuck I am. We'll let you defeat Space Force Obscure if you pay us. Lower the price. No geo cheapskate. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why this, uh, this thing is saying to go here. Locate the lost Pyrogenesis freighter somewhere in Northern Federation space. I just, I'm literally just, like, guessing? Bro, what? Oh, God. Please. That's a pirate. We're probably dead. Okay. What? Federation, help me. Why, why are you denied? Wait a minute. Why are they hostile now? What? Uh, huh? Well, we're definitely dead. Let's reset here.
What happened? Is it because I tried to bribe that one place fucking around? Uh-oh. Okay, I guess to just try to go north. I don't know. Oh, I, I tried to bribe him and everyone got pissed. Jesus, man. The <laughs> word spread pretty fast, huh? Alright, I think we're good now. Well, I might have... Oh, no. I, you know what it was? I think it was uh, I demanded tribute. I told him that I was going to fight him. To board their ship. Or their space station. Okay. Uh, do we have a map out here? No, let's buy the map. Northern Federation Space. This is still technically Federation. But it doesn't say Federation. Do a Maybe barrel I'll... roll! Do a barrel roll. <laughs> I wish you could, actually. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Come on, man. It was a joke. It's a prank, bro. I should have 1v1 that Terrapin. Nothing too good. Okay. So I don't know if these count as Federation space. I mean, it has the blue thing, right? But I don't know. I guess we'll go over here. Nope. Don't do it. I should have landed there. Oh well. I mean, I haven't really seen a freighter. Okay, let's try to 1v1 this thing. Where's it at? Oh, 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 he has a buddy. Okay, see ya. Fuck, man. Okay, we're not in Federation space anymore. Yeah, it's not looking too good. Okay, let's go back. Talk messages they just can't take a joke. I know, right? What the hell? Loosen up, man. Also, we're dead. I guess they left me alone. Okay. Man, not a lot going on here. Well, we need energy. I guess we'll just... Exist in space, just float forever. <laughs> oh man. I probably should get a new ship pretty soon. One that can hold more than, you know, two solar panels and a battery pack. Do you get anything for killing asteroids? I could ever shoot one. Yeah, look at that. How good I am at this game. Oh, dude. Aimbot. 
literally shroud in a, uh, a terrapin. We don't want to talk about that. What if you buy an asteroid scoop? Is that like a ship? Oh, fuck. Well, not very fond of this mission, I'll tell you that much. I wish I knew what storyline it was from so I could look it up, like what to do. Unless it unless it is like, you know, RNG, it could be. No in this game. Hmm. Could try going here, maybe? I assume if we if we saw the freighter or whatever, it would tell me in the bottom left. Oh, come on, dude. We're dead. God fucking damn it. Fuck off, bitch. Get out of here. Dumb. Oh god, this is before we even went over there. Okay, well, whatever. Thanks for the shortcut, asswipe. <clears throat> Isn't there a button to quick do this? Oh, we're gonna fucking die while I'm trying to figure it out. Go away, dude. Let me alone. It's H. Well, the game is so small I can barely tell. Ooh, look at that alien shit, man. It looks so cool. Really? No stellar objects present. But why? But why? Oh, he left. Wow. Uh, I guess we'll go around. I don't know. I might look this up, actually. Yeah, let's just look it up, because, like, I don't want to, like, randomly try to find this. Hmm, let's see. Not part of that.
I don't know, man. I think we're just going to say fuck it. If I come across it, whatever. But, like, nah. I'm not going to sit here and try to... Try to find this shit. Okay, let's move on. Do something else. Uh, I'm still trying to give Federation. I mean, in this readme of the mod, it legit says uh, it's from uh, bars. To get to Federation side content, check bars and fed space. Hmm. Oh, side content. Is that different from the storyline? So I guess we should just check at the outfitters and bars of like every Federation place. If we can't get into Federation, I guess I'll do a different storyline, but I kind of want to do it because I've never done it before. Or if I have, I like barely remember it. Damn, Pyrus just got fucked. Holy shit. Anyways. I'm obviously sure that isn't vanilla game mission. You also need minimum combat rating for Federation? Really? So I guess I need to, if that is the case, then I guess I need to give up enough money to have, or to fight something. To buy a ship to fight something. But on this walkthrough, let me close all these. Oh, you're right. It's combat rating 150? Is that 150 kills? No way. <laughs> I don't believe that. There's no way, dude. Okay, so we need to we need to get enough. I need to buy the license too. Oh, this is not Soul, right? Between a fair and average rating. Okay, well fair, fair is a hundred. It says, hold on. Your combat rating is based on the number of kills you have made, which is the sum of the strength of all the ships you have destroyed. Time some internal multiplier for adjustment. And between 100 and 200. But it says 100 and 200 kills. Hopefully it's not actually... 
times some internal multiplier for adjustment. What does that even mean? Okay, well. Yeah, we just we just need a combat ship, I guess. Uh I mean, these are pretty decent, right? This, uh... I forget what it's called. Star something. Star bridge. 517k. Jeez. I can buy this if I get the licenses. Missile weapons and naval approval. We have missile weapons already. I don't see naval approval here. Fuck. Hmm. Let's go for Starbridge. All right, so let's buy this license, right? We need the license. You don't need the license. Why does this license have the picture of it, though? I guess the mod? I don't know. Okay, we need, we need 517k. Twenty K Gallon system delivered to Alteria by July second. Twenty K? Alright, let's do it. Oh, it's right here. No wait, that's the other mission. Two, three, four. Alright. Oh wait, what's the uh What's the thing that lets me jump? I can select more than one plant to jump. Can I just do that by default? I remember being like alt click or some shit. Shift click, I don't know. Oh, you could shift click it. That's what it is. Okay. I thought it was an item. Apparently not. I guess someone in the graphic department didn't talk with the writers. Probably true, honestly. <laughs> So I've only I've only played Escape Velocity Nova. Have you played the other ones like Override and Classic, I guess? Wow, that ship click thing is amazing. And we're dead. There it is. Fucking assholes. It's kind of lame that can happen too. Okay, let's go again. We go again. Come on, man, let me load. Uh, now we go... Nice. I'll play them after Nova, so it's a bit painful going backwards, but they have their strengths. So how far did you get into Endless Sky?
Time limit exceeded, mission failed. I literally went the fastest I could possibly go. What was that, dude? What the fuck, man? I remember that happening back in the day, too. I was just like, how, how is this possible? All right, let's try a different one, I guess. All right, let's go. Terrapin? You know what, come here. Come here. What happened, man? Oh, I thought he was dead. We lost. Oh wait, he's disabled, is he? Or is he is he faking it? You know what? Let me board your ship. Can I board a terrapin with a terrapin? <laughs> Uh, capture ship. Unsuccessful. Well, damn it. Does that count as a kill? <laughs> oh. Don't kill me, please. Oh my god. A fucking laser? Are you serious, dude? Jesus, this game. I'm already getting fucked in the ass. Yeah, we're fucking dead. Well, we don't have that kill now. Alright, let's save here. God. Also, there's an item to make stuff on your map, like, colorful. What, what is that? I remember that shit. I remember. You remember? Uh, I don't see it. Yep. Sensor thing? Maybe? No idea. IFF decoder? I have one thumb. Peace out, man. Thanks for hang hanging out, dude. Okay, so there's no IFF decoder on here. Oh, there it is. Wait, this is a weapon? What? Oh, whatever, we got it. Bam. Yay! I can now see who's friend or foe, even though the map is painfully small. <laughs> oh god. I'll see if I can mess around with the resolutions to make it better, but... That scripture is from a weapon to EV override for some reason? <laughs> Great. Oh yeah, it's all pirate stuff.
But why? Where are we going now, bro? Does this lead to that? I don't even know, man. Okay. All right. Guess we'll find out, huh? Are we going to fail the mission? Oh no, we're good. Nice. No, 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 no. Don't, don't go here. That sounds like death. I don't want death. Death is bad. Twenty-five K credits. Nice. Buy a map out here. By August 14th? I don't know, man. That's kind of... I mean, we'll try it. Do I need to go here? Okay. I believe, man. Man, there are pirates everywhere. It's kind of crazy. So have you messed around with any custom like plugins and stuff, Delaware? There's a fuck ton, man. We might die here actually. Hey. Okay, now where? I haven't really gotten to mess around with too much. I did like, again, I did like two storylines and, and moved on when I was younger. Yeah, I played this on like such an old PC though. <laughs> oh, I went to the wrong place. Oh, we failed. Hold on, let me load. We failed. Uh. August 12 days? There's no way we make that, right? There's no way. It's two days per jump? Well, we're gonna make it the day of. No, I, I need to recharge. Hold on. Solar panels, help. Help me. Never did much of plug so few of them are really worth it. Really? There's a, there's a shit ton of them out there. Do you like custom stuff and ships? I just did this brand new void because it was just like a collection of them. You people were like saying it's pretty good. They have it on Nexus mods. Although I'm not really seeing too much different except for that one mission thing. I'm sure there's like weapon rebalances though. But I barely remember what weapons are even good. Someone's trying to kill me. Juno's daughter. Why is someone's daughter trying to kill me right now, man? Huh? What's up with that? I think we failed the mission, though. Oh, I hate that, dude. Like, how, how do you jump faster? 
Like, I legit took the the quickest way there. September 8th is pretty long. Okay, let's try this one. Alright. Two... What? Oh my god, we're going to Africa. Okay. Come on, man. Leave me alone. Lame as fuck, dude. Pirates. Oh, man. I can't wait to become a pirate and then go out of my way to kill every fucking piece of shit pirate around me. Look at this shit. Get out of here. Most difference I've seen actually look like bugs. Small ships jump fast, big ships jump slow. Yeah, I have a small ship, right? Okay. Uh, I need to. L I need to get energy again. Terrapin's pretty small, I think. It's actually a mid-sized ship. This thing looks fucking <laughs> small as hell, man. There's actually a mod uh, that makes the the ships the the right size, but since I play at such a low resolution. For stream, if I if I was playing by myself, I would do nineteen twenty by ten eighty, all day. Uh, but they they have a they have a mod to make the ships look the actual size to scale. They look pretty cool, but it, I just feel like it would be hard to like fight when like the ships take up most of the screen. Okay, we got this at least. This is an easy one. It looks cool though. I might actually put it on real quick to show you what I'm talking about. It is almost 10 o'clock when we usually end stream. We're streaming for what? Almost 8 hours? 25k. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you what I mean, though. I'm sure that auto saves when I land. Alright. Uh, let me put this shit on. No, 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 no. It actually looks pretty cool, because you actually see the shields uh, also on the ships. Give me a second. So, I think I have it in this... Let me delete that two million uh, mission. Get that out of here. No, 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 no. It's called Supernova Graphical Overhaul. Copy. Okay, and then I have to do the compatibility plugins as well, and then we'll be good. All right, let's see if it works. Probably. I, I, I was using it before. Watch it just erase my file. <laughs> uh, 
refresh, full screen anizer, bam. Yeah, see? It's a terrapin. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me fight people like this, dude. <laughs> uh, I think at a higher resolution, it's not as cancer looking, though. Oh my god, just jump. You go to Earth. Yeah, here's the, uh, what's this called? Fed Destroyer. I want to see, like, the bigger ones. Come on, we got no big ships here? I can just land over and over, probably. Bunch of destroyers, really. Nothing else? Yeah, the shuttles are super small. I guess you were right, this is uh, a mid-size uh, ship. You could also make these smaller ones bigger as well, but... There's an option for- oh my god, look at that thing. Fed carrier. Go somewhere else. Oh, might we, I might see some pirates too. Like here. They see how we have shields. Ahoy there, Stash. Yeah, I can shoot this guy. They have, like, shields. What about this big guy over here? <laughs> He's gonna fuck me up. Okay, never mind. I like how the Hypergate's still, like, uh... <laughs> fucking small. Southeast, you said? Alright, let's see what we find. If I die, whatever he cares. Uh, well. <laughs> but yeah, I just wish there was a, uh, there was a way to make the text bigger. I mean, they have an option to use a different font, but even then, like, I think I have the font on, actually. And it, it's still, like, at higher resolutions, you just can't read anything. It sucks. It's the only thing that's bad. If, that, if I had that, this would be perfect. I would actually play with this mod. Show me an orient ship. Damn it. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, let's let me do a uh, let me patch the game again. Let me do a, a higher res. I'd probably have to switch OBS, and that's fine. I'm curious. Alright, let me patch it again. Oh, let me change the resolution. I'm actually using my monitor. I put it to a lower resolution just to do this. Ridiculous. There we go. Ah, God. Breath of fresh air. Let's do 1920 by 1080. Why not? Oh, it's doing that thing again. Uh-oh. Is it is the uh program still running? Oh my god, fucking blinded. Jesus, dude. You're upon some music while we're doing this too.
Yeah, it's because I'm still patching it. The patcher keeps, uh, sometimes it freezes up and just doesn't do what I want. All right, come on now. I know this works. Uh, I won't do what I want. I don't know if you have to give it a second or it just freezes because it doesn't want to do what I tell it to. This happened last time on stream, but then when I tested it off stream, it was fine. Yeah, it just doesn't work shit. Oh, I, I'm sure uh, when this was made, they never imagined someone to have a screen larger than that, right? I need AFK a lot now because I need to do some stuff, but good luck with the rest of your stream if you're going to go longer. Now, nah, I'm going to end after I get this working. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, Lost Wolf, and thanks for the raid as well, dude. Appreciate it. I just want to, I want to test this to see it. I'm just not sure why, like, you have a password for this, right? And um, for some reason, it asks you all these questions, but the last question, it will just freeze and not do it. I could overwrite the file, I guess, because I have a backup for it. But yeah, we're pretty much done with stream today. I, I stream 2 to 10, so. Okay, okay, let's do this. So it Here, let's do this first. I know you guys can't see anything, but Yeah, just only try to fire in. Hmm, well, fuck. I don't know if I can get it to work.
Oh, maybe that's why? Let's not run this as admin. All right, peace out, Lost Wolf. Fuck, dude. I mean, I could show you what I'm trying to do, but, like, it just won't, uh, the pasture's just fucking itself. So, like, you can use this pasture, right? Even over pasture. And it's like, please up to your desired screen length. And no matter what I put here, I could do zero for unchange everything. And then it asks, which type, uh, which type of font do you want? Press Y for Geneva. And I press Y and N, and it just doesn't do anything. <laughs> so, I don't know. It might have something to do with OBS, because again, it works off stream. So, I don't know. But anyways, fuck it. It would be cool to see uh, how cool it would be with that hybrid resolution, though. Because I could even try, like, other resolutions. Like, this try uh, 1360 by 768. That's still 16 by 9 resolution. Then no change, no change, no change. And then nothing. It just won't let me type. So, lame. Oh, well. Oh, you ever played on Mac? Yeah, as, as crazy as it was a Mac game and then it came to Windows, right? If only they did, like, a re-release. Like, that would be fucking sick. But alright, dudes. That's gonna be it for me. We'll play this more tomorrow night. Uh, I will try to mess with the resolution a little bit more and see if I can make the text bigger or, like, just anything. But I've, I researched for, like, an hour and I couldn't find, like, anything to make the text bigger. I would love to play at a higher resolution, I would, but... It's either like I either I either have the text big in a low res or a high res and I can't read the text. I kind of want to like do the storyline right and read it out to chat and myself as well. So they are re-releasing Override, maybe Nova. Really? Uh, when? Because I know the company is like shut down, right? Uh, and I might give Endless Sky a try. Nice, it rhymed. Um, and see how good it is i but i have nostalgia towards this game right the game's not i mean the game's okay right to but people that don't have nostalgia they're probably like man this is shit <laughs> you know and i kind of see where they come from it's just an old school game but i like it i like the storylines and shit as well combat can be kind of a, a annoying sometimes but once you have a strong ship you're pretty set it's under Cosmic Frontier. The original creator has the IP now. Oh, nice. That's actually sick. Hell yeah, dude. Well, thanks for hanging out, Del Wu. If you're interested, I'll be playing this again tomorrow night. Oh, around this time. Uh, but yeah, oh, also, thanks for the follow, dude. I really appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll see you in future streams. I stream every day. I play a bunch of retro stuff some days, other days not. Like, I beat Mario 3. I played a Super Mario World ROM hack earlier. I like all kinds of shit, man. We stream variety here. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you around. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me. As always, thank you all for watching, lurking, chatting, all the good shit. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more shenanigans. And I'll see you guys then. Peace out.